Legend goes that if you went outside at the dead of night, you'll hear whistling. But this isn't any train whistling. It's a steamboat. Not just any steamboat. It's his. Before I go any further, let me give you some context by starting from the very beginning. My name is Steven, and I have made the biggest mistake in my entire life. It all started when I went out. I didn't go anywhere in particular, no destination really. I just went where the wind would take me, as they say. I just went off cruising until I find myself in an abandoned parking lot of a studio on the outskirts of town. So I put my car in park and headed towards the dilapidated building. I, I don't know what drew me there to begin with. It's just something about it made me want to go inside. As my feet have a mind of their own, I proceeded into the building and took a look around. Not much to see in a, except torn down walls and floors being reclaimed by the earth. Grass growing through the cracks of the concrete and tiles inside. So, as I explore the place, looking around trying to find something that... I have, or anything, I have no idea. But something drew me to this place, so... As I was looking, I stumbled across what looked like a production studio with a projector and backdrop oddly still intact. As I walked up to the projector to check it out, I don't know, I... I felt uneasy. Like something was telling me to run and never come back. I ignored that warning. And the feeling was so deep that I had to swallow my fear and turned around to the projector. At first everything was fine. The projector cut on and a black and white cartoon came on. It looked like Mickey Mouse, but he was all in black and white and had a captain hat. I think they called him Steamboat Willie back in the 30s and 40s. I don't know. I've never really watched the old black and white cartoons before, so I couldn't tell you, but what I could tell you now, you wouldn't believe. As I was watching it, finding it quite entertaining, even though I never cared for it, something started to happen. The image started to become fuzzy and the projector started to smoke. Then a black substance began to ooze from the projector and drip onto the floor. I backed away, trying not to let that stuff touch me. It, I didn't keep my eyes off the oozing black substance, but I wish I knew what I saw. The next hideous form started to come forward out of the black goo, forming into this character of Steamboat Willie, but it looked wrong somehow. Its ears were round, but sort of crooked and torn and... The hat on his head was ripped, almost shredded, and his eyes should... were endless voids of black that showed no light, no expression whatsoever as it climbed out of that gooey muck and started to come forward. It finally noticed me and looked at me and gave me a horrible, wicked smile. And it began to speak in a demonic, horrible voice. 
You had set me free, finally. My reign of terror will start all over again. Now that I'm free from my prison, from that horrible man that trapped me all those years ago. After he said those words, I finally found the courage to get the fuck out of there. So I started running. And that thing was behind me, screeching, howling like it was right behind me and wanted me to come back and be a part of it. I can still hear those words ring in my ears, that, that horrible voice. Come back, you human being. Part of me, one with Steamboat Willie. Join me in my reign of terror. I'll refine you and make you part of my crew. Or could feast on your blood. I was never the same after that day. After I got into my car and booked it back to my house. I should have listened to the warning and should never have turned on that projector. I should never have gone to that warehouse or whatever the hell it was. But I did some digging the next day, fueled by fear and curiosity. I looked up Steamboat Willie and found some results. Come to find out, the old place I went to used to be owned by the Disney Corporation, but soon abandoned. And I did a little more digging. I found out that Walt Disney, yes, THE Walt Disney, had an association with an occult a after the company he worked for stole his one main character, Oswald the Rabbit. So he decided to make an alternative. Therefore, Mickey Mouse was born, or the first adoration of Mickey Mouse, Notice Steamboat Willie, but for some reason, he made two copies. One was the first Steamboat Willie in the cartoon, and the second, I believe, was a prison for something that he may have conjured by mistake. Now, I know there are some Disney fans out there that may find this insulting to... Disney's legacy and I'm not trying to do that what I'm trying to do is find a way to either kill him or trap him but in the meantime be careful don't go out at night and for the love of God if you hear that whistle run I can't stress this enough you need to get out of there if you hear that sound. You will die if you let the curiosity get the best of you. This is all I can say right now, but I'll inform you again until that time. Be safe, as I'll be safe. Because I will rot in hell if I ever let that thing come near me or touch me. This is Steven signing off for now. Oh shit. He's close. <laughs>